One thing you need to understand about the food industry is that you can make any food sound healthier than it actually All right, so he's just showing things that people can put on the front of packaging to make it sound healthier. I've been tagged in some of his videos and people are asking me if these are things that companies can actually do. And yes, I've talked about marketing before. Um, if there needs to be more regulations surrounding food, a lot of it needs, I think, needs to be on marketing on the front of package because a lot of it is pretty ridiculous and it's not telling the consumer anything actually helpful about the food. All right, Annie's is notorious for this. So we have these bunny grams. Uh, so we have all these things that are not included in it. No artificial flavors, no synthetic colors, no synthetic preservatives, no high fructose corn syrup. That doesn't mean that it's any healthier. Also, organic doesn't mean that it's any healthier either. These are delicious though. My daughter loves these. They're good. Perhaps my favorite marketing claim on any food product ever is this one. Uh, nutrition in every bite. Well, I would sure hope so. I hope that I'm not taking bites of air sometimes. A list of all the things it doesn't contain because apparently people think all these are bad. All right, so just to clarify for packaging claims on food here in the U.S., health claims, nutrient content claims, and structure function claims are very regulated. Where it gets into kind of a gray area is saying things like natural, um, saying, pointing out things that the product doesn't contain, which is typically synthetic ingredients and artificial ingredients, which isn't telling you anything about the health of the food. It's just a marketing tactic. So I consult for a lot of small startup food companies and I proof the pack their packaging for them. So I kind of go through the claims they're making and tell them if they can or can't be making those claims. And like I said, a lot of it is just a gray area where, you know, if it's a factual thing, sure, you can say it. But again, doesn't necessarily mean that the product is healthier if you say something like natural or doesn't contain something synthetic. Um, those are just marketing things. It's not telling the consumer anything about the health of the product. So of course, even though those more gray area type claims aren't necessarily approved, they're not necessarily not approved. Um, so companies tend to put those on the packaging, but they also just have to be really cognizant that they're not making a false claim or something that could be perceived as false um, because they can also get sued over things as well. So some of it just has to do with the enforcement um, in some cases as well. So there was a company I was working with and um, they were wondering if they could say something about they were making a cookie product and they were using coconut sugar instead of cane sugar or beet sugar. And they wanted to say something about coconut sugar being healthier on the front of the package. And so I just had to explain to them, like, it's not really healthier. You can't really make any claims about that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, potentially there could be a company that would go ahead and say something like that on the front. But again, they just have to be aware that they could get sued over something like that. So like I said, health claims are very regulated. Um, that would be like claiming a specific ingredient or something in the food reduces the risk of an illness or disease or something like that. Those are very regulated. Those are based on evidence and the food has to meet a specific requirement to be able to say something like that. So those types of claims are very regulated. So the other kind of claim that has a lot of regulations around it are nutrient content claims. So that has to do with just specifically stating the grams of something per serving in a food. If you're saying that on the front of the package, um, if you're saying low in or high in or free from, like sugar free, all that kind of stuff, that has to do with the, the nutrient content of the food and those claims are very regulated as well. Doesn't mean they're still not used as marketing and to make something seem healthier when it might not really mean that though. So the third type of claim that is very regulated is a structure function claim. So claiming something like fiber Ooh. maintains bowel regularity. You'll see those types of claims more so on supplements than food, but it can be on food too.